Ah, my two loves, Pokemon and LIFTING WEIGHTS! Today I've decided to combine the two like Daddy's first Chimera to see if I can beat a hardcore Nuzlocke using only Fighting-type Pokemon. This little Chimcha, I can see him becoming a Fighting-type master very soon. Cheater! What? Chimchar's not a Fighting-type! Yeah, but he's gonna evolve into one like 10 levels. But he's not one now, so you can't use him! Shut the f- And also I named my rival after The Rock because, you know, we're pretty similar. Body composition wise, right? The flowing time. Hey, does anyone know who this man space. is talking I'll to? I'll mine one who day. Is... Cyrus is my name. Who Remember is this? it. Who is... Now, since I'm only using fire types, I really only have access to a few Pokemon, but don't worry, our collection will start to expand very quickly. There's. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's only seven evolution lines. Oh my god, there's only seven. That's fine. There's no problems. Nope, no problems. Ah, my arch nemesis of the lift. The rock wants to fight me again already, does he? Well, just me and my buddy. Wukong can spam Ember with the best of them. And this dude has a Piplup and he just keeps growling at me. Oh, I burned him. Nice. Looks like roasted penguins on the menu. Are you allowed to eat penguin? I would imagine not. Now, you may be wondering what's so hardcore about a hardcore Nuzlocke. Well, it's rules time. All right, big sexies. Here's the rules. Number one, no items in battle. Using performance enhancements is cheating. Number two, you play in set battle style. You thought you could switch between Pokemon? Think again, idiot. Number three, level Caps. No going above the highest level of the gym leader. I've come to train in the mountains. I hear this big, tall, buff man here, which my heterosexual ass is all about appreciating. Ah, oh, there's a big buff man for me. Time to add him to the team. Brilliant. Now I have two team members. One of them has guts. Fantastic. One of them is mild. Why couldn't you be adamant? Got a nice little attack buff if you were adamant. I must have been blessed by the gods of muscle because the level cap for the first gym is level 14. And Monferno is acquired level 14. So I'm allowed to get my ironically second fighting type, but first Pokemon before we take on the gym. Which speaking of, Rorik, I think it's time I got that. Now rock types are known for their incredible defense. So we really have to watch out because they'll be able to take a lot of hits before they, oh. Kratidos is Rorik's ace. This is gonna be the most threatening thing that we face all battle. Oh, look at you not dying in one hit. I'm gonna make a tactical switch here while he uses is a potion so I can follow up with a quick punch in the face and kill him. And then there's only Onyx left. And what are you gonna do? Base 45 attack? Lower than an Oddish? Yeah, I'm not scared of you, mate. For seven damage? Pathetic. Get out of here. Yeah, let's go! We have a gym badge. My team is coming along great. It basically looks like the human evolutionary chart. And now I'll beat up some nerds with bull cuts. So oh, I truly feel like a high school bully today. Finally, the muscle is on the other bicep. You train by doing press-ups. I train by smashing rocks. We are not the same. Yes, small child, I'll help your papa. With my massive muscles, I will. <laughs> Time to beat up some more nerds. I'm stealing their lunch money and also their Valley Windworks keys so I can fuck their mom afterwards. Those goons were trying to rob you of their sweet, sweet honey? Those idiots, don't they know that honey is basically all carbs and sugar? You can't get gains from that. But maybe you can get something else. So apparently the only way to find a Heracross is to slather some honey on a tree, which I thought was a bit weird, but well, you know, hey ho. Let's see if we, oh, it works! <laughs> Yes! I love carbs. Oh, it's gonna be hard to catch, isn't it? Try a Premier Ball. Oh, we're so close. Third time's the charm, come on. Yes! Gonna call you Carb because you're just addicted to this stuff and you'll happily eat anything according to that on the screen. Now, everyone always says that Mars is a hard fight, but me and my new mate Carb is gonna have an easy time destroying her. I'm just now realizing that Carb does not have a fighting type move. This is not good. It's okay, we can switch into Thor on the fake out. That does a nice healthy chunk of damage, but the Karate Chub comes up next and it does, ooh, almost enough to... It looks like it's gonna two-shot, yes! Level 19 and Carb wants to learn Brick Brick. It's about bloody time, yes you can. Casually help a girl through a forest. And now if I'm correct, there should be some Meditate around here, isn't that right? Yes, I was, hello. Now I can only catch the first fighting type I find on each route, so please have pure power. Gonna call her Yorga, cause she's Australian. Oh God, please have pure power, I am begging you. Ah, oh, here we go, it's Hardy, happily sending, yes, it has pure power. Doubles the attack of my Meditite. It goes so well with my zero physical moves. We are developing quite a nice little team here. Unfortunately, that is pretty much the last fighting type I'm gonna catch for a while, cause there's not a lot in this game. But don't mind me just burning down this gym. Oh, water sport, is it? Well, I don't care about that, do I? Who's a good little arsonist? 
Who's the best little arsonist in the world? You are, Wukong. Yes, you are. So far, your guess progression's been bloody awful. I could learn better moves from a TikTok dance routine. But that's fine, because I got my boy Wukong here. All right, Gardenia, let's see what you got. Now, I know you have Sunny Day. Set it up for me, please. Oh, I just one-shotted it. <laughs> Never mind. No, there's no way. Wukong, you can't do it again. There's no way, Wukong. You're not gonna... Oh, so close. Look at you using potions. I'm not allowed to use potions. And I don't like this leech seed, so it's time for a little switch action, I reckon. Quick little air release to take down the Cherim. Now Roserade comes in, but what's a Roserade really gonna do to me? Stun spore me and miss? What an idiot. Do it again. Stun spore me. I, I dare you. Grass now. You are nothing. This fighting type team is doing so well, and nothing bad will ever happen to me in the future. See, now when something really bad happens, we can cut back to this part where I said that nothing bad would happen. It would be really funny. Now it's time for a side quest. Boom! Beat up people with bowl cuts. Every bowl cut I defeat, I steal their mother's phone number and become more powerful than I was before. There's two more. Even Juniper is scared of me. Casual flame wheel to take down the bats. And maybe we get a two shot with this. Oh no, not even close. But we resist all the dark type moves. What are you gonna do to me? Oh, I got a crit! Oh, Wukong, you're way too strong. Phone numbers collected. Side quest complete. You know, being strong isn't all about lifting weights. You gotta have good cardio as well. So, God, how am I supposed to get good cardio if everyone stops me every two seconds? Nope. Sorry, Cyrus. Don't care. Nobody cares. See you later, bud. The breaking rocks? Oh, I care about that a lot. Ha! I don't need to use stairs when I have big, strong, burly Pokemon on my side. Now, I know what you're thinking, Pat. You're so big and sexy and good at this game. You haven't encountered any problems so far. Well, that's about to change. Because no matter how many muscles you have, you can't punch a ghost. So for the first time ever, we really will need a... Legitimate strategy. And the strategy goes a little something like this. I taught Cobb Thief, which is the only thing I have that's going to be super effective against these ghosties. But the problem is Thief is piss baby weak. But the solution to that problem is the AI is dumb and I have guts. It has Will-O-Wisp. So I sit here and cut until it burns me, doubles my attack and then we steal everything and kill everything. At least that's the plan. Let's see how things actually go. Pursuit is not a good start. I need you to burn me here, friend. He missed Will-O-Wisp. Okay, that's also not a good follow-up. He used Future Sight. That's really bad news. He missed Will-O-Wisp again, but he lands it that time. I'm gonna get hit by the Future Sight. It does very little damage. Now, hopefully, we can go on a tear. We just need to non one-shot the Duskull. Can we also one-shot the Haunter? Yes, we can. And now, please, Carb, you just need to get one more. No, it's not enough. But we got the Citrus Berry, which will pop is exactly when I get burn damage. And mm -hmm. now I'm confused. Carb, please break through, buddy. Yes, he got a crit. Oh, my God, Carb. That strategy went way better than I could have expected. Oh, my God. And it's finally time for Thor to evolve as well. And now Barry wants another fight. I'm coming off a massive high right now. I'm feeling good, and I am quad weak to flying time moves. Oh, he double teamed. Little cry chub crit does nicely. I think I'll just do the same. Thor's going absolutely hog wild right now. Look at him go. Wukong can handle Roselia. Then we just have to mop up the ponies, sir. That's really embarrassing for you, The Rock, not gonna lie. And now we're in Veilstone City, taking in the sights and sounds, and I think that's a gym over there. It may be time for a grinding montage. Let's get down to grinding to defeat our foes. Did they send me Tyrogues when I need Lucario's? You're the weakest team I have leveled up, and since I'm kinda stuck with you, Mr. I'll make a mon out of you. All right, feeling pretty strong now that I've got that grinding in the gym and we can take on Melene. Gonna lead off. My strategy is incredibly simple for this one. We just use Aerial Ace over and over again until I don't use Aerial Ace because Lucario will be in the fights and then I'll use Brick Break. Machoke tries to set up a focus synergy. It does absolutely nothing. And then, of course, Lucario comes in to which Cobb just says... I'm gonna break some bricks, baby. And it's, oh my God. Cobb is absolutely slaughtered, Jesus Christ. And I pick up one of the most important TMs I'm gonna get in this entire run, which is Drain Punch, which unfortunately only Yor gets in 
can learn it, mate. Gonna have to teach you a little bit of drain punching there, mate. Good thing we got some punching on yoga there. I'd like to make a humble apology to all Australians. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, Dawn. I'll beat up the bowl cuts. I can basically kill two birds with one stone. I can get Dawn's Pokedex back and I can... Get more of those sweet, delicious mother's phone numbers. Hand them over, bowl cuts. Now that I have access to two more mommy milkers, though I guess it's actually four, we have another cool thing that we can do right now. See, I think we need a new addition to the team. Now I could get this Pokemon from the Great Marsh, but this thing just keeps showing me Pokemon that are weak and feeble and pathetic. And use- oh, well, you're kind of cool, actually. But they're not the Pokemon that I want, that I need. That Pokemon is hiding out here somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but somewhere around here. And there he is. Got a little bit of blue and yellow on you. How about a Quick Ball? The best Pokeball, by the way. Yes, got him. I've named this little man Frog Guru because he is the wizened old mentor of the team, even though he just joined. And also because my Royal Noodles claimed it. If you're a member on the channel at high enough level, you get to claim an evolution line every 30 days, so Frog Guru is the name. And he has dry skin, which makes him more weak to fire type. But immune to water, that's really good for what's coming up, actually. It's time to get ready for the next gym, and Wukong is finally evolving. This is wonderful news. And now we say goodbye to Garlic Noggin, and hello to Titneys. And I think Titneys deserves some better moves, and what better right now than to get Thunder Punch? I just need to be blue ba da ba dee da ba die And now that I have some good moves, I don't even care that he's here. Hello, Dwayne. I came prepared, even though you may may be intimidating, but I don't care, I'll be honest. Oh my god, Yargo's going fucking crazy, eh, mate? And a Primplop as well? Dude, I'm just gonna Thunder Punch again, what do you mean? Look at you, Bubble Beam, go on, crit me, I dare you. Oh, he crit! Oh, he did! Oh no, I was kidding! I was kidding, okay, just maybe one more. You don't have Aqua Jet, do you? Okay, he doesn't have Aqua Jet, that's good. Just need to punch a horse now, and Flame Wheel Roselia, and we're safe. I really need to stop speaking things into existence. It's a terrible, terrible habit of mine. <coughs> Subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribe. Uh, sorry. Bad cough. Terrible. Really bad. Oh, Thor is finally evolving just before the gym as well. People that don't understand how the universal randomizer works are going to be very confused about that one. The strategy for this gym badge? Keep using Thunder Punch until I win. And if anything stops me from using Thunder Punch, immediately panic. Let's see how it goes. One. Oh, one, two, three to the four. Gyarados is dead. All sparky on the floor. And now Floatzel. Okay, he doesn't get the defense drop with Crunch. He pops his citrus and then one. One more is gonna ooh, be careful. It takes him down. Oh, Quagsire. Why didn't you bring this one in before? I'm confused. I've got big, strong Thor to take you down now. I don't need healing items when I can just chop you down like a cherry tree. Oh, I'm asleep now. Well, that's not very good. Come on, wakey, wakey, Thor. Time to get up. Ding dong, time for school. You got a big exam today, Thor. Wake up. Please, for the love of God, would you just wait? Thank you. Didn't even get a crit. Gotta pull another switch into carb to finish things off. Please don't confuse. No. Carb, you can break through, right? No. You can break through, right? Yes. Oh my God. Okay, we took him down with Thief. We're good. We get the gym badge. Oh no, domestic terrorism. <gasps> By the bowl cuts. Well, it's my solemn duty to capture the phone numbers of every mommy in the land. You can run, but you can't hide from me, bowl cut. You can't even fight. Oh, Krogunk. I'm now realizing I don't have Zen Headbutt, which is very sad. Come on, hand it over. Where's that number at? Hey, come back here. Oh, speaking of mommies. Now, there is actually a way we can get a 16 member very soon, but it does require us to get a little bit lucky. See, there are only two routes in the game that have Ralts, and Gallade, as we know, is a fighting type that I could use if we get a Dawnstone, but I'd have to get a male Ralts first. Ralts does have a 50-50 gender split on males and females, so really, I just need to find a male Ralts, which should be easy enough, right? But I can only use the first encounter that I get in the area. So if I find two female Ralts, then I just can't do it. Please be male. <gasps> yes! Okay, the first one I encountered was male. I don't have the Dawnstone yet, and obviously I can't use it unless it's a fighting type, so can't use it just yet, but that's great news. And someone turn on the sun? I can't see a bloody thing in here. Oh, oh th 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 thank you. Thank you. That's much better. Uh-oh, the bowl cuts are up to no good again. Here, maybe this will help. Stop doing terrorism. Oh, well, it, it works. He's, he's gone. Unfortunately, though, Jimmy No Mates has returned. 
Uh, well, I mean, Cyrus, sorry. What an easy mistake to make. Also, Jimmy No Mates wants to fight me for some reason. Doesn't he know that Sneasel is allergic to being punched in the face? Good thing I came strapped with Thunder Punch as well. You have so many flying types. Stop it, man. Thank God I made it to Cantilever. I've got some moves to delete. Get rid of Cut from Heracross. And I'm sorry, Thor. No more Rock Smashing for you. I also have an Orca Berry. I have no idea where I got it, but I guess Carb can have that. And it's about time that Frog Guru evolved as well. Now, see, I've clocked on to the rock's ambushing tactics, so I know exactly when he's gonna run into us, like, right now. I've also played this game, like, probably upwards of 45 times, so that helps as well, I guess. But a Star Raptor's nothing that a good old Thunder Punch can't fix right quick and easy. Ooh, are you gonna heal that? I really hope you don't. Oh, you don't! That's right, the rock doesn't heal. The rock does many things. Stay hungry, devour, stay on the grind, shill products in every several single one of his Instagram posts, but never heals his Pokemon. But hey, I have a high jump kick with your name on it, Empoleon, even though I've been intimidated. Ooh, a Heracross, is it? Well, my Heracross has Aerial Ace. Oh, yours has Aerial Ace! Okay, this just turned really scary. Gonna have to make a quick switch into Wukong here to tank the Aerial Ace. Ooh, that hurts. But Flame Wheel should be able to kill it. Oh, no, it didn't. No, 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 no. It was so close to dying. Is Mock Punch gonna finish it off? Is it? Yes! I was resisted. I was scared. Hey, Rapidash, that is much more easy to handle. Just need to chop this thing a couple of times and it goes down. And then there's Roserade. Finally, something the Frog Guru might actually be able to fight. Just need to wake up here. Oh, you got a leech seed? Really? We're doing this? And toxic spikes. Wait, what? No, don't do that. Frog Guru, you need to wake up right now. What is wrong with you? Oh my god, Frog Guru is literally dying right now. This is so embarrassing. I'm also terrified to switch out on Giga Drain. Oh, Frog Guru, why have you put me in this position? The toxic spikes are set up as well. Buddy, I need you to wake up literally right now. Thank you. No, it's getting too much health back. I'm gonna... Oh, unless I get a crit here. Please tell me you can get a crit here, please. No! Goodbye, Frogger. The first death of the run as well. Nothing bad will ever happen to me in the future. Okay, my only answer now is to hope that I always speed with Yorga and go for a little ice punch there, mate. There we go. I'm sorry, Frogger. I didn't mean for you to die like this. It was technically my fault. Goodbye, friend. Some people drown their sorrows in ice cream. Well, I'm gonna drown my sorrows in the delicious eggs of the Iron Island. And now that I have acquired the delicious egg from Riley, it's time for a little bit of cardio. You know, you can't forget get the cardio. Weight training is very important when it comes to building muscle, but her cardio is very good for heart health. Oh, finally, yes. After all this time, I am now officially a daddy. Welcome to the team, little kidder. Unfortunately, this Pokemon evolves by happiness. Hey, hey, you, little kid. Love me. Love me. Love me. Oh my god, it works. He loves me. And while we're getting a team together, I can go ahead and pick up this Dawnstone and I'll toss a stone Kiba's way and turn this thing into a Gallade, completing the team. I mean, just look at this squad. I'm looking tough right now. You know, I just think that we're tough enough to absolutely destroy this gym. No problems whatsoever. So the strategy for this is to just click Aura Spear until I win. Little Kidder gets one kill. Little Kidder gets two kills. And and I think little kid is about to get three kills. Good job, buddy. So the ball cuts have done more domestic terrorism and it's up to me to stop them, which is fine because this guy, the leader, who doesn't have a ball cut is gonna be super easy to beat. Now that I have Kiba, who is absolutely fantastic and also slower than a Golbat, I can just want. Oh, I thought that would one shot. He misses supersonic and that's a Golbat dead. Oh, there's a Bronzo here. Okay, that's kind of awkward. Just throw a big bang attack your way. Then Kiba absolutely slams him with a Psycho Cut. Quick stop to tell my mom about all the domestic terrorism that I'm stopping. Spoiler alert. She somehow doesn't care. So I just tell her it's not a phase and stop some more terrorism. Can I just ask who trains like this? Seriously, what are you doing, mate? The old run and spin technique. What is this? Can I just like dodge him? Damn it! Well, one workout sesh later, we're ready for the gym. Which sounds weird and out of order, but hey ho. It's time for Candice. My strategy for this is a little bit unconventional for a normal Nuzlocke. You lead with Sneasel and I'm setting up some stealth rocks because all of your mons are super weak to it. Ow, that hurt though. But a swift mock punch should be able to take out Sneasel. And now that I have that big sexy stealth rocks damage coming in every turn, I should be able to one shot the rest of them. Oh, it's a frost last. Oh, my fighting type moves. Oh no. Whoa. 
was me. I guess I'll have- Uh-oh, you're Blizzard. And I really wish that that had missed. <gasps> you critted me with it as well. Oh no, that's bad. I think Apollo Snow may have eye shot. Also, it's setting up the hail too, which is bad. Now, in theory, I could probably outspeed this, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if it's got eye shot. I'm going to switch it a little kidder. We up an avalanche very nicely and a flash cannon should be able to seal the deal here, I think. Go on, little kidder. Yes. But look at that. One ice badge and zero terrible dead jokes. So now I have to find the spirits of the lake for some reason. I don't know why. They're not good Pokemon. They're not fighting type. They're psychic type. It's like my antithesis. Why should I save them? I think that we should enslave them even harder. By God, looker. Look at this gathering of the bowl cuts. Can you imagine the potential? Do you know how many mother's phone numbers I could get from this? <sighs> Sorry, I, I lost myself a little bit there. I When these things happen, when so many phone numbers present themselves, it becomes hard to function correctly. So this Cyrus battle is going to be a little bit scarier, but have no worries. I always have a strategy on hand and it's just copying and pasting the same strategy I used from Candace, which just means tossing up stealth rocks and letting a little kid go to town on them. Have fun, little buddy. Oh, wait, it didn't kill. Okay, he has a citrus berry. Don't you dare crit me on that. Please don't have sucker punch. Okay, you didn't have sucker punch. That's good. Now there's a crowbat in the back, which is going to be honest, didn't really account for this. Hopefully Kiva can take a hit. Nice. And with the stealth rocks damage, please Please tell me it's in range of a kill, please. Yes. Yeah, this red button will blow up the psychic types, right? Y yes, they're ah, they yes, they're all dead. I think I've made it to the top of Mount Coronet. Unfortunately, Thor the Machamp did not make it to the top of Mount Coronet because he said that he's scared of terrorists, which, to be honest, is a little bit fair. I also really needed a HM slave, so I had to leave him behind, which really sucks. That's not going to cause us any issues, right, guys? Uh oh, big dull battle time. Thankfully, I've got my buddy Dwayne the Rock Johnson to help me out here, and so this should be no issues whatsoever. Look at him being so helpful and stockpiling for some reason. I'm just gonna keep punching the Skuntank side because if you're big brain like me, you know the win to win, the way to win double battles is just to- Uh-oh, I am- I am- I am damaged! Sorry, the battle rudely interrupted me. The way to win double battles is to bully down one side until you've absolutely crushed them and then there's only 2v1. Bullying! It works in school and in Pokemon. Unfortunately, they seem to just double team into me over and over again and Munchlax is doing nothing to help me. Come on, Yarga, you got a little drain punch there, mate. Get your health back. Oh, finally, now you attack something good. Oh, Christ, it's a Golbat. Oh, that's not good. Nothing on a quick switch into little kid I can't solve with a little ice bunch in here and there. Munchlax is hitting himself in confusion, being very useful, but I take down the one side now it's 2v1 the rest of it should be pretty easy there you have it that's how you do double battles if you learn something today subscribe uh oh demonic rituals i feel like none of this would have happened if cyrus was just held as a child you don't get cuddles and kisses as a baby you end up summoning satan it's okay i'm pretty sure my muscles are big enough to punch satan oh great i thought the psychic pokemon were dead why are they still here something feels wrong about this that's probably nothing come on cyrus third time's the charm right no i think we gotta go with the same tactic as last time that stealth rocks is gonna do massive damage to every single pokemon on your team so i just hit the hound him with a quick close combat and there's a gyarados awesome and an intimidate so i definitely don't want to stay in here but my good mate yorga has a little thunder punch with your name on it mate and now we have honchkor which means i have to do Two things. Number one, outspeed it. And number two, kill it from this range, which I hope that we can do. Let's go. Okay, we outsped it. Can we kill it? Yes. We swap into little kid and oh no, we got confused. Don't do this. Oh, we hit him good. That should kill. So close. But we get the freeze. <laughs> oh, and of course he has a full restore. And we don't hit ourselves. Well, freeze again. Freeze again. Freeze again. Freeze again. Damn it. And we get flinched. Wait but steadfast raises my speed. I don't have a switch in, but I have boosted speed now. So if I don't hit myself, no, little kid, he lived. Oh my God. On three health points, little kidder just held on. I can't believe that. We really need to break out of confusion this turn. Please, little kidder, please. Yes, he snapped out and he takes out the crowbat. Oh my God, that was terrifying. Last but not least, we had the Weavile. Now I do have boosted speed, but at the same time, this thing has fake out. So that's a pretty good idea to switch out. I knew it. There's the fake out. We don't get killed by it. And a brick break should be able to do the job and take him out. Woo! 
Woo! We did it! Cyrus is done! Terrorism has finally been defeated! Now it's time to defeat our greatest enemy yet. A typing completely immune to ours. Straight from the depths of hell. But you should know that Satan has one weakness. Hey, Satan. Being evil is cringe. Being cool is epic. And away he goes. Giratina seems to have understood us. Now, here's the game plan. First things first, grab Thor out of the PC. Don't worry, buddy. There's no more terrorists around that are going to scare you anymore. Second, get the last gym badge, which after coming off of converting a god back to being a nice fella is slightly underwhelming, but we still need it to get to Elite Four. Have you seen how many trainers are in this bloody gym? How does a man so introverted get so many friends? That wasn't a rhetorical question. I'm asking for me. Falcon has got a team of electric types. My plan is to just just click Earthquake and hope for the best. Seriously, this moron has nothing for electric type moves or ground type moves at all. Doesn't have a flying type, no levitate, not even an air balloon. Dude didn't look into the future and grab an Electros from Unova. Like, what is he thinking? What an idiot. I'm just <laughs> destroying every single... Uh-oh. That was... That's a fire fang. Okay. That's fine. Oh, the Okaberry! The Okaberry from the start of the run just came in handy. Are you kidding me? I never thought that would actually come in handy there. That's hilarious. And I get a crit there too. That is so awesome that that just saved us, basically. Oh my god, he lives on one. Are you kidding me? Oh, he has Fire Punch. He has Fire Punch. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I lived. Bitch. So now all I need to do is Earthquake him one more time and take him out. Thank you. And then it's just a Raichu. There's no shot in any realm of reality I'm going to outspeed a Raichu, let's be honest. Let's just be nice and safe and give Thor a little bit of the... Oh, you get critted and he gets a special attack boost. Great. And he has Focus Blast and he critted me again. Okay, we lived. That's all that matters. I don't know how you lived that, Thor, but thank you very much. Now that that terrifying, horrifying ordeal is over, I have a beach date to get to. Hey there, Jasmine. Uh, J Jasmine, Jas Jasmine. Jasmine, Jas Jas yes, yes. Wayne's kind of third wheeling our date a little bit here, not gonna lie. And Jasmine isn't upset that I kind of forgot what her name was. Thank you, she's so understanding. Time for the most exciting part of the run. Wow, that was fun. All right, Elite Four time now. Now the level cap I'm using for the Elite Four is the highest level of the last Elite Four member and not the champion, which means that Barry's basically gonna get his shit rocked. Oh my god, Star after lived the Zen headbutt. I should have used the super effective move. That would have been a better idea. Roseray goes down. Diorga misses against Rapidash and he gets a sunny day up. Brilliant. And I also just realized I really need to not level up right now. It's okay, I can do a little bit of switching around. Keep smacking all his mons. Yes, no likes. That's what you get for not helping me in that double battle. And there we go. He's done. Now the time has finally begun. The Elite Four. First up is Aaron, and I do have a strategy for this. I actually scared and this from Sylph Spectre, another individual that does hardcore Nuzlocke, so thanks for the idea. I put my Wukong into blaze range so that I can just punch everything in the face with fire and call it a day. Boop. There goes one. Oh, Drapion. Okay, I forgot about that. that it's not technically a bug type, but I mean, it's still gonna die a fire punch, right? Oh, not even close. Uh-oh. Aerial Ace, hold on. No! I really thought that that was gonna go a lot better. I, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, that's a bad start. That's, that's a really bad start. Oh, that's such a bad start. He has a full restore as well. Yeah, I just got critted again. I'm not looking so hot for Yorga here. Oh, Heracross, brilliant. Thor gets put into red by close combat, but he takes him out. Then a couple of ice punches gets the boy. Okay. That was not how I wanted that to go. Oh, Jesus Christ, the sizzle. Just one crit. Sizzle goes down. All right, that was that was not how I expected the first battle to go. After all this time, we lose Wukong because I, I got overconfident. I tried to use a strategy and it didn't work. Okay, hopefully the Bertha fight goes a little bit better. Start off with a Leaf Blade, which I got because apparently it's a level one move for Gallade, which is pretty awesome. We get hit with an Earthquake and that hurts, but we have Ice Punch and as long as you don't crit me, then I think this should kill. Unfortunately, now I've got to contend with this Hippowdon who's also going to use Earthquake. We tank it and now we have Mega Horn to hit him back with. Ooh, that's a two shot. Come on, just one more time and yes. Now we have Golem, which should go down to a Leaf Blade. Nice crit. And there's Rhyperia. And I'm sorry, Gallade. I do not trust you to be able to do this. All we need is for this Metacham to tank an Earthquake, please. Yes. Okay, pure power drain punch. Tell me this kills. Tell me it does. Yes, I got a crit. Oh my God, yes. And now it's time for Flint. So Infernape would be really useful in this if I had one, but I still got Yorga so I can throw out a little drain punch there for you, mate. Rapidash has bounce. Oh, okay. Gonna be honest, I don't really have a switch in, so I guess I'll drain punch and see if I can just get my health back here. 
Yeah. Oh my god, what a crit! Yorga's insane! Okay, Yorga, just don't die to a flare blitz and we are all good. Nice! Zen Headbot's gonna smash that infinite. Flareon uses overheat, but we can tank that very nicely. And Cross Chop knocks it out. The Smagmoto, though, he's looking a lot scarier. Do I outspeed him? Probably not, right? Let's find out. Cross Chop time. Can we tank a flamethrower? Please tell me that we can. Yes, we can! Let's go another crit from Thor! I, we have just been a crit magnet in this. It is incredible. Okay, it's finally time for the last Elite Four member, Lucian. Who, you know, is only super effective against my main typing. That's not a big deal, right? But maybe I can get some Swords Dances up here as it sets up Reflect. But if I keep Swords Dancing on your light screen and I Swords Dance just one more time, I get critted. Wonderful. But Elite Blade is going to do enough to take down Mr. Mime. And Espeon comes in. Can I outspeed Espeon? I don't know. Oh, no. I can't outspeed Espeon. Oh, we hang on with just a little bit of health. And Espeon goes down. The Reflect is gone. There's no way you can outspeed me. I'm going to beat up this Bronzong. Kiba, you are going insane right now. Can I outspeed this Gallade? Kiba with the Psycho Cut, and it kills as well. Now, unfortunately, there's 0% chance I can outspeed this Alakazam, which means that someone's got to take this hit. And I'm sorry, little kidder. I need you to pull through for us here. He just missed Focus Blast. There's no way. We need him to miss it twice. There's no 0% chance. No. Goodbye, little kid. He lived on four, but there's no way. <laughs> little kid is going insane right now. And you might think, well, he's done. There's no way. He can't pull through now. But I have extreme speed, baby. I can't believe it. I can't believe little kid didn't die there. That is absolutely ludicrous. Which means that we have an actual non-zero chance of winning this. We start off with a Mega Horn, which lands wonderful. Get hit with a Psychic. That hurts. We just need to not miss the next one. Spirit Zoom goes down. Okay, it's a 5v5. Now, I'm so sorry, Carb. I don't think we have a switch in here. I don't think there's anything I can do to save you, buddy. I think this this may be where it ends for you, buddy. But if you can get a brick break crit, that would be... No, you can't. Okay, never mind. I'm so sorry, Cobb. We had to sacrifice you. And now little kidder can come in and stop firing off some ice punches here. Get a freeze and he thaws out. <gasps> he has Aura Sphere. I totally forgot he had Aura Sphere. Oh, there goes one of the full restores. I'm pretty sure that we can two-shot here. Ugh, that did so much damage. And we don't! Okay, that's really bad. I was really relying on being able to two-shot there and we didn't. At the very least, Kiba can come in and finish it off, but it's not looking good, fellas. There's Lucario. It uses E-Speed. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. I'm gonna slam it with a close combat. I know, boy. There's the big boy. The big man on campus. God chomp himself, and I don't think there's anything I can do apart from take an earthquake and go down with the ship. Things are looking really bad here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe, only maybe, if we can pull through with an Ice Punch here and one-shot it somehow, we can please... Yes, Yorga, you legend! It's not over yet, though. Malatic comes in. I have to use Drain Punch. I have to get my health back. Thank God I had Ethos to restore that PP, by the way. Let's do it again. Drain Punch again. Get all that beautiful health back. It lives on one, but it goes for Dragon Pulse. What an idiot. And I get quitted, but I live on ten. I wish I knew what was happening right now, but I just don't. We Drain Punch again into the full restore. We keep Drain Punching into it. We need to get our health back here. We take the Surf, but one more should do it, which means we just have a Roserade left in front of us that we outspeed an ice punch and we one shot. Let's go, Yorga, you absolute hard carry. Yes! What an incredible team. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe for more Pokemon challenges in the future. I also have a second channel linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.